Good day, folks. Today, I've got a really interesting bag here I want to show you. This bag is a great alternative for those who aren't too happy with the bag that comes with the Flymore kit for the Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic 2 Zoom. So let's take a closer look. So I'm just going to set this bag aside. I already made a video on this bag and how to pack it. Uh, it's back in my channel. Uh, there are many that don't like this bag for a couple key reasons. Uh, first of all, everything is very tight when it's packed inside. There's not a lot of wiggle room. The other point is that the drone has to sit in it upside down with the camera facing down. There are many that don't like that. Now, another reason some people aren't too happy with it is that it does not hold an iPad mini. And many people use iPad minis to fly their uh, Mavic. Now, personally, I don't mind this bag at all. I think it looks great. I love the material, the way it's built, the quality of it. So, uh, you know, everybody has their own opinion on that, but uh, definitely I can see where that's coming from. So anyways, I came across this bag and I really, really like it. So now I'm just going to put them side by side here so you can get a feel for the difference. I would say it's not quite double the size, um, maybe a size and a half. It's a little bit wider and a little bit taller, uh, about the same thickness. Now, the sizing is very important to many people because you don't want a case that's overly big. After all, the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic Air, uh, they're all nice foldable designs and that uh, make it nice for travel. So you don't want to have a nice tiny drone and then have a big bulky bag that you have to lug around with you. So let's just put this one aside here. There's a couple things that really caught my attention about this bag and why I like it. Uh, first of all, like I said, it's not too overly big and uh, it is multi-purpose and what I mean by that is that this can go from just a carry bag similar to the Flymore kit bag but it also converts into a backpack if you so wish to carry it like that so let's uh, take a look at that first take a look at how that works and then we will uh, take a look at some of the pockets and how the Mavic Air fits in it first off we have a shoulder strap just like the Mavic uh, Flymore kit bag so that's nice, you can wear it as a shoulder bag as well. And this is the kit to turn it into a backpack. And basically, it just latches on to the sides here and at the back, then you have a full backpack you can wear. So if you're out, you start carrying it, but you don't wanna carry it anymore, you hook this on and now you've got a backpack. So I think that is ingenious and uh, a lot of people might like that just for the fact that uh, you can carry it either way. It also comes with a little rain hood so, you know, if you get caught out in the rain, then uh, you're looked after. So let's take a quick look at the pockets that come with it. On the front here, we have a little pocket. Good place for propellers or whatever. That folds open. We've got this pocket here. And that is plenty of space to fit an iPad. Whether you're using a full-size iPad or an iPad mini, uh, cabling in there. This is the 10.5 inch iPad Pro, and you can see that it fits in there with no problem. On the sides here we have some elastic pockets, great for putting water bottles or whatever you need in there. On the back here, it has that strap to add to your luggage. So if you've got rolling luggage, you can add this on just like a carry-on, you know, so you don't have to carry it. So that's kind of nice there. And on the bottom here, it's got rubber feet to help with wear. So inside here, We've got another little pocket up top here, and it goes the whole length of the front. And then below that, we have a little mesh pocket. So lots of storage for little parts and cables, memory cards, different things like that. So now we have the cavity itself here. Obviously the drone in the middle. On the side is where your controller goes. And as you can see, it's got this little piece that you can remove. And that's really designed for controllers for the original Mavic or the Spark. Those controllers that did not have the removable sticks, you know, it would fit in there and your sticks would be protected. But really, we don't really need that now with the new uh, Mavic and the Mavic Air. Put the controller in there. This front compartment is good for all your charging gear. Charging brick, charging cable. And there's lots of storage for batteries. You can put a battery there and put a battery here. And of course we have one in the drone. So we still got some extra compartments for other batteries. We could put another battery there, another battery there. But we've got some cabling that we can put in those slots. So, and then at the top here, we can throw our spare propellers. And, uh, oh yeah, we've got our little charging hub we can just throw in there anywhere. That does 
fit the Mavic 2 Pro a lot nicer. There's no squishing. The camera is protected. The gimbal is protected. And uh, yeah, so that is a nice little bag. And like I said, it's not oversized. Uh, if you don't like carrying a big backpack around, uh, this is just a nice little medium sized bag for you. And actually, just before we go here, we'll take a look at the backpack component. You can see here, hopefully I can fit this all into the video. You can see here just a basic backpack strap. You can see there, these clip onto the bottom. Just like that. That clips onto the top there. And now we have it as a backpack. So it's nice that this is convertible like that and you can use it whatever way you find the most convenient. So what I'll do is I'll include the links down below where you can go and check this uh, bag out further if it's something you are interested in. Well folks, thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm gonna include the links down below where you can go and check this bag out further. Thanks a lot for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.